What I want to do here is derive the Euler product formula for the Riemann zeta function. So recall our zeta function is sum 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the s. So this is zeta of s. And what I want to show is that you can rewrite this whole thing as a product over all primes of this form right here, one minus p to the minus s. And this is this is just super cool. I mean, it, you, you would never have guessed without doing a whole bunch of work that, you know, your, your Riemann zeta function could be written as a product over all prime numbers, which is sort of a surprising, you know, group of numbers to have a product over. Uh, but how do we how do we actually go through and show this thing? That's that's the question. So let's start by start by writing some partial sums for the Riemann zeta function. So our, our zeta function is one plus one over two to the s plus one over three to the s plus one over four to the s plus one over five to the s and so on. Okay. So what's 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 the trick? What what am I going to do here? Well, first thing I'm going to do, and, and you'll you'll understand why I'm doing this in a second. Um, but at first, this is going to look kind of weird uh, because the first thing I'm going to do is just multiply say to s through by one over two s. So the first prime number one over uh, one over two uh, raised to the s. And when we do this, what do we get? We get one over two s plus one over four s plus one over six s plus one over eight. S, uh, S, plus, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, so what what do we have here? We What we have is um, now a, a series with one over every even number. So every number which has two as a prime factor. And it could have two multiple times like four or, or three times like eight. But every single, uh, th this series right here consists of every single number that has two as a prime factor. Okay, so now what do we do? Um, th this is, okay, neat. We have something which has every single number as two as a prime factor. So what can we do? Well, uh, let's take this first line right here, zeta of s, and subtract this. So if we do that, what do we have? We have one minus one over two to the s zeta of s and what are we left with we're left with one with one plus one over three to the s plus one over five to the s plus one over seven to the s plus one over nine to the s plus dot 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 so so what, what have i really done here well what i've done is i've taken one which is our original original riemann zeta function and i've subtracted every term in the series where n has two as a prime factor. Uh, I've taken every single term that has two as a prime factor and removed it from the series. Uh, so now every single term over here on the right in the denominator here has, doesn't have two as a prime factor. Okay, you know, fine enough. Well, now why don't, why don't I do a similar thing, but with three, three is the next prime number. So I can multiply this whole thing right here by one over three to the s. And then what happens? Well, what are we given? We're, we have one over three to the s plus one over nine to the s plus one over 15 to the s plus one over 21 to the s plus and keep keep going. Okay, so now, now what happens? Now, now this series is every single term or uh, this, the, this series here has every single number which has three as a prime factor but doesn't have two as a prime factor. You see what I'm saying there? So every single no 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 term here will ever be even in the denominator, but every single term here will have at least one factor of three. Okay, so now let's let's do the same thing and see what happens. We can take one minus, or, or rather we can take this original series up here, which got rid of all the terms with two as a prime factor. Now let's do the same thing. Let's get rid of all the terms to have three as a prime factor. And what do we get? We get. This whole thing now is equal to 1 plus 1 over 5s plus 1 over 7s plus 1 over 11s plus, and, and you keep on going. So what, what are we seeing here? We're seeing this pattern where each factor of this thing right here, 1 minus 1 over some prime to the s, removes from the Riemann zeta function 
every single term which has that prime factor in it. So, so what does that mean? That means that if we keep doing this for every prime number, we're eventually going to remove every single every single number which can be broken up into primes on the right hand side. You know, next next thing we'll do is we'll do this for five. That'll get rid of all the numbers that have five as a prime factor. And if you keep going, you do every single prime number. Well, what happens? You get rid of every single term on this right hand side, which can be broken up into its prime factors, except for one. One gets left behind. And so, and so what is that? Let me, let me write that out up here. So what I'm saying is that if we, if we go off and do this infinitely, we have, you know, one over, one minus one over five to the s, one minus one over three to the s, uh, one minus one over two to the s, times our zeta function. So we've done every single prime number here. Then this whole thing's gotta be equal to one because we've subtracted out every single term on the right hand side except for that one. Well, wait a minute, you know, what, what does that mean? That means that we can solve for this zeta function here by dividing both sides by this whole, this product of terms here. So, so what does that mean then? Well, and maybe I'll, I'll start with the easier result. We can, we can start by just dividing zeta of s over. So if we divide zeta of s over, what do we have? We have one over zeta of s is equal to this product over primes of one minus one over p to the s. You see, because zeta, one over zeta is equal to uh, one minus one over two to the s times one over one minus one minus one over three to the s times one minus one over five to the s for every single prime number. So we've got this product formula for 1 over z to the s. So how do we get 1 over, well, how do we just get z? Well, we take the reciprocal of every single term right here. And so what do we see then? We see that zeta of s is equal to same product over primes, but now it's going to be 1 over 1 minus 1 over p to the s. And so how do we how do we get this into the form you want? Well, you know, you can you the 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 quick way is well yeah well what do you well you multiply top and bottom by p to the s p to the s p to the s and that gives us uh, some product over p p to the s over p to the s minus one which is the same as this but if we want to get it in exactly this form we can multiply top and bottom by p to the minus s and what do we get we get one on top and then one minus p to the minus s. And so we've done it. We've proven uh, the Euler product formula for the Riemann zeta function.